Now at 6 o'clock, a brush fire in the Everglades is impacting some populated parts of Broward County. We are live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. It's not so much the flames that are causing concern right now, but folks are smelling the smoke and some are seeing the soot, and that is creating health issues. Certainly is. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live for us in western Broward County with the latest. And Ted, are there actually three fires that are burning not far from you? I think I see two of them behind you. Yeah, Elliot, there are three fires burning right near here, a total of about 7,000 acres. Two of those fires are up in Palm Beach County, just by the Broward County line. The third one is right here behind us, the one that you were looking at. This is the one that is impacting Weston as well as sending smoke in over Tamarack and Western suburbs this morning. This is just northwest of Markin Park. At last estimate, there were about 900 acres burning, but throughout the day, we have noticed that this fire has been growing. A haze hanging over parts of Weston, all from that growing Everglades brush fire near Markham Park. Oh, we saw a lot of ash as we were driving by. I thought there was like some kind of like disaster or some car crash, but I didn't know there was some fire around. Sean Miyamoto saw ash from the fire raining down like snowflakes and began to notice a smell of smoke. Probably terrible to run like this. Oh, to, to jog sports, or... Yeah, anything. That smoke and ashes coming from three fires that are burning near the metro area. It can be dangerous for some, especially when it blows into populated areas. Especially if you have asthma or you have respiratory diseases or even heart diseases, you really should try to avoid exposure to smoke. Dr. Christopher Chang from Memorial Healthcare is an immunology and allergy specialist. With all this smoke, he suggests people with health issues wear an N95 mask. Wearing a mask outdoors and uh, staying indoors Running your, uh, your, running your uh, air conditioning system, especially if it has a uh, filtering system, though all, those, though all those things help. Forestry officials are expecting a wind shift on Friday, meaning people in parts of West Broward could be impacted. As the winds push the fire closer to those areas, you can expect some light smoke, which I noted on the Sawgrass Expressway this morning, but also the ash activity. And right now you're taking a live look at one of those fires that's burning in Palm Beach County. This is just west of Boca Raton, just north of the Broward County line. At one point today that fire was at about 5,300 acres. There's not been an update throughout the day, so don't know where it uh, stands right now. Swinging over here, this is the fire that's uh, right just to the northwest of Markham Park. Seems like every time we look at it, the shape and the size of it has been changing. This has uh, is one that has some people concerned about possibly getting um, some smoke into neighborhoods. So you should stay on top of those shifting winds and see what's going to happen because if the wind shifts in a certain direction, it could bring it right over your neighborhood. Live in West Broward, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you.